everybody. Uh, today I'm just going to show you some uh, propagation that I've been working on. Uh, namely, these are with uh, honeyberries, also known as hoscaps, and some goji berries. Uh, what I did is I just did a simple uh, method of using a, a pot for each. I'm just using vermiculite here. I uh, would probably, if I had other things, I'd probably mix it with some perlite or uh, some peat. But that's all I used for this case. And let me show you the setup uh, that I used. So basically I used a pot for each type. Um, these are two different types of uh, the honeyberries. And this is a type of uh, goji berry uh, where just about all the leaves, uh, leaves fell off, but that's fine. Um, I put them inside this kind of bin. Uh, it, it did get wet because it rained uh, the last two days and I wasn't here. Uh, but that's fine, but in general you don't really, really want to keep things too wet on the bottom or on the top. Uh, I actually only watered these uh, one time and I left it under uh, a plastic, white plastic uh, kitchen garbage bag. And that's it. I just did that. These have been put in exactly two weeks ago actually. So let me have a look. They all look terrible. They all look like they're dead. Um, but I know that they're, they're not all dead. Uh, that one's no good. This one, see the leaves are still on it. So I do have hope. Yep, there you go. That has some nice uh, roots. This one still has leaves on it, so it's probably still alive. Yeah, some roots. They're pretty small, but that should be fine. That one's no good. Um, yeah, part of my point here is uh, start way more than what you need. I started, I think, 10 of each. There we go, that one's good. Knowing that even if I just get a few, that's fine. So I have three of that variety. And then this one. These ones seem to have done a little better. I don't know if it's, wow, this one did a lot better. Um, I'm not sure if it's because of the variety or um, whatever. Now that looks better. So yeah, the rule of thumb, usually if the leaves look some, somewhat alive on top, usually it did root. And that was the case with this one. You also have to watch for rot. Um, this was very wet uh, due to rain and things like that. Uh, so some of the bottom is rotted, so I'm just going to cut that out before I uh, transplant this into uh, soil. Uh, that one's didn't take. So that's okay. I just wanted to get a few out of each. Yeah, that one's good. Uh, these gojis are pretty interesting. They looked like completely dead, some of them, but... These green ones, nope, that didn't take. Well, I was hopeful that the gojis would take, but I think I'll have to try again. This was much wetter than I uh, had hoped, but I was away for on and off for a little while, and I just didn't, uh, I just let things stay a little wetter than I think I should have. So I'll try again with the goji berries. Um, I actually expected those to uh, come up easier than the other ones, but yeah, that's where I'm at. And now I'm just going to uh, pot, put these in a pot and just let them grow out a little bit more before I separate them. 